things will move from order to disorder. It's a law that applies to everything, from a drop jug to a burning star, a hot cup of tea to the products that we consume every day. All of this is an expression of the universe's tendency to move from order to disorder. Disorder is the fate of everything. Clausius had shown that something he called entropy was getting bigger all the time. Now Boltzmann had revealed what this really meant. Entropy was in fact a measure of the disorder of things. Energy is crumbling away. It's crumbling away now as we speak. So the second law is all about um, entropy increasing, which is just a, a technical way of saying that things get worse. Boltzmann's passionate and romantic sensibility and his belief in the power of mathematics had led him to one of the most important discoveries in the history of science. But those very same intense emotions had a dark and ultimately self-destructive side. Throughout his life, Boltzmann had been prone to severe bouts of depression Sometimes these were induced by the criticisms of his theories, and sometimes they just happened. In 1906, he was forced to take a break from his studies in Vienna during a particularly bad episode. In September 1906, Boltzmann and his family were on holiday in Duino, near Trieste in Italy. While his wife and family were out at the beach, Boltzmann hanged himself, bringing his short time in our universe to an abrupt end. But perhaps the saddest aspect of Boltzmann's story is that within just a few years of his death, his ideas that had been attacked and ridiculed during his lifetime were finally accepted. What's more, they became the new scientific orthodoxy. In the end, there is no escaping entropy. It's the ultimate move from order to decay and disorder that rules us all. Boltzmann's equation contains within it the mortality of everything from a china jug to a human life to the universe itself. The process of change and degradation is unavoidable. The second law says the universe itself must one day reach a point of maximum entropy, maximum disorder. The universe itself must one day die.
If everything degrades, if everything becomes disordered, you might be wondering how it is that we exist. How exactly did the universe manage to create the exquisite complexity and structure of life on Earth? Contrary to what you might think, it's precisely because of the second law that all this exists. The great disordering of the cosmos gives rise to its complexity. It's possible to harness this natural flow from order to disorder, to tap into the process and generate something new, to create new order, new structure. It's what the early steam pioneers had unwittingly hit upon with their engines. And it's what makes everything we deem special in our world, from this car, to buildings, to works of art, even to life itself. The engine of my car, like all engines, is designed to exploit the second law. It starts out with something nice and ordered, like this petrol, stuffed full of energy. But when it's ignited in the engine, it turns this compact liquid into a mixture of gases 2,000 times greater in volume, not to mention dumping heat and sound into the environment. It's turning order into disorder. What's so spectacularly clever about my car is that it can harness that dissipating energy. It can siphon off a small bit of it and use it for a more ordered process, like driving the pistons which turn the wheels. That's what engines do. They tap into that flow from order to disorder and do something useful. But it's not just cars. Evolution has designed our bodies to work thanks to the very same principle. If I eat this chocolate bar packed full of nice, ordered energy, my body processes it and turns it into more disordered energy that powers itself off the proceeds. Both cars and humans power themselves by tapping into the great cosmic flow from order to disorder. Although overall the world is falling apart in disorder, it's doing it in a seriously interesting way. It's like a, um, a waterfall that is rushing down, um, but the waterfall throws up a spray of structure and those that spray of structure might be you or me or, or daffodil or whatever. So you can see that the unwinding of the universe, this collapse into disorder, can in fact be constructive. Steam engines, 